guys, thank you for coming back. Well, we are going to be doing a tutorial utilizing some of last year's peppermint canes. For those of you who have not seen them, I did make a cane tutorial last year and showed how to take cane slices and turn them into peppermint candies. Or you could reduce them further, and I reduced them and made a peppermint candy last year. So I will link those tutorials all in the description box below. Patreon subscribers at the $9 and $15 levels, at the beginning of December you guys will be getting two candy canes each in case you want to make a little coffee of your own and you'll get three of the tiny peppermint slices. So you're getting enough of those things to make your own little coffee and this will be the big item that's being sent in the surprise package in December so you have this to look forward to. It came in a little package like this at Michael's. Take some peppermint canes. Now I made these and I have a tutorial on them so I will include them in the description box. But I just slice. I'm going to slice five of these large peppermint slices. And then um, the other side is a little bit smaller. I'm going to take three of those. And then I want to do a much smaller one. The small one that I'm cutting up right now is from my peppermint coffee from last year. So what I'm going to do is take these little guys and put them in my bulb. I have it in a drink cap to try to help it stay straight and not wiggle around too much. I put the peppermints in first. Pour in some um, glass micro beads. I don't need to pour in too much. I'm just going to put a little bit on the bottom. Put in a little bit of glitter. Not a ton of glitter. Then I'm going to use mineral oil. Mineral oil you can get at the drugstore. And I'm going to try to pinch it and keep it from touching the outside rim of our little bottle. If it happens, it's not a catastrophe, but I prefer to try to keep it from touching the edge as much as possible. Right now it's about half full. And I know I'll want a little bit more beads than I have in there, so I'll pull them in there. These little glass beads are heavier, so they'll sink. And then I want to mix it up in there. Mix up some of those peppermints just to see how they disperse. And see if there's enough peppermints to really make it visually interesting. Which I think that looks perfect from the side there. And I fill it almost to the top. It doesn't go quite to the top. You're going to want to pick it up and put it eye level with you just to make sure everything looks good and you have everything you want in there. And I'm going to try to make sure I have the inside nice and dry. You hear it squeaking. There, I'm going to take some jewelry glue. You can use super glue too. I'm running it along the side of the cork. I will start running it along the sides. especially at and above the um, where it will sit in the glass. And then I'm going to place it in and push it nice and good. And then there we go. So from here, I'm going to let it dry just like that so it remains upright. Um, the jewelry glue usually takes about 24 hours to dry, so just make sure that you know that. Um, you can, you know, decorate with silver or different color to go ahead and make sure that um, um, if you want it to look more like a Christmas bulb, you could add a ribbon, you can hot glue. Um, you can hot glue some ribbon, tie a little bow on there, make it look a little bit more festive. So I hope that you guys 
enjoy this. I think that they're like much prettier in person than you're seeing here. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.